Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Agnew's math lesson for the week. Today's Thursday, May 7th. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. It's our last e-learning day for the week. And thank you for your hard work and patience throughout the um, days earlier in the week. You guys have been doing a great job. All right, we're going to pick up right where we left off, talking about numbers and the meanings of different numbers. So if you remember our last lesson, we talked about four seconds being right here on the stopwatch, right? And we counted to four all right, and we got to four seconds and okay. one, two, three, four. Okay, four seconds is referring to time, and that's what this stopwatch does it tells time. Okay, let's check out our next exercise. Okay, a bus. Okay, a bus with wheels and it carries passengers and it has a bunch of windows. All right, which one of these numbers is talking about this bus? Let's see. The windshield, if we zoom in here, you guys see that number right there? What number is it? Four and a zero. 40, right, okay. Now I think they're talking about Route 40. All right, Route 40, okay, because buses travel down certain roads to get to a certain place on time, wherever their passengers might be going or getting picked up from. So let's see if that's right. We got it right. Route 40, okay, this number 40 is referring to a specific street, All right? New Pal and Greenfield people, you guys have probably heard of US 40, Right, it's a main road that goes from Greenfield all the way into Indianapolis. Then just south of that is our new pal folks. Okay, you guys have probably traveled on 40 quite a few times, if I could, if I had to guess. All right, let's see what our next one is. Okay, what's this number here? Everybody should know that one. A one and a zero. The number 10, you got it, right. Okay, and take just a second, look around. What do you think these are? I think they look like cupcakes, but oh, this says, the number says there are 10 ice cream cones in the box. The number 10 on the outside of the box, that number is significant because it means there are 10 ice cream cones in the box. Do we think that's correct? You do? Okay. I'm going to click true and see if we got it right. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good job. Okay. What's this number? 12, right? A one and a two. Okay, and this looks like a bottle of soda, right? The numbers say that the bottle has 12 liters. 12 liters. Do you think that bottle right there is 12 liters? It's a pretty good size. 12 liters is a lot. Or do you think there's 12 bottles inside the box? I think there's 12 bottles in the box too. Let's see. Okay, because we're going to say false, because we don't think they're talking about liters. So it's a new program. We're still getting used to it. Yes. They must mean there are 12 bottles of soda in this box or this cooler. Nice job. All right, I'm going to get rid of these guys here. I don't know why those stick around. That's kind of weird. Anyway. Okay, so. The question says, which one shows 11 inches? 11 inches. Okay, guys, remember, we've been talking about um, measurement in some lessons in my class. All right. 11 inches is a unit of measurement. Okay. Measure the length or the width of something. All right. This is a scale. It measures weight, so we know that's not it. This looks like a boarding pass to get on an airplane. That doesn't, it's not right. 
But this, you guys have probably all seen one of these, right? A measuring tape. Okay, a measuring tape could tell you how wide your forehead is. Okay, how big your hand is. All right, how many inches your phone is. Okay, you can measure a window. Look around your house. You can measure a lot of different things. Okay, the height of a chair, those kinds of things. All right. Well done. 11 inches. Okay. Uh oh. Click the wrong button. Uh, let's make it go back. Hang in there, guys. We got one more slide. Inches. Not that one. Here we go. Okay. There's different houses. Okay, and this sign says numbers five, good, through 19. Okay, remember in our lesson yesterday, we talked about houses, and each house has a number, right? House number will tell your friends where to drive to if they want to come over and play. They'll tell the pizza man where to drop off your pizza on a Friday. Okay, so these houses have numbers, all right? So we see five to 19. Is that five to 19 cows or five to 19 house numbers? Good. Okay, give you guys a round of applause. All right, that is a wrap for our math lesson. I still hope you check out our fun math video, uh, which is underneath this one on our Canvas page. And I hope you guys got a great start on the weekend this afternoon, all right? Thank you for your hard work this week. And I will see you next week. Take care. Peace.